Good morning Vlogmas. Uh, starting off in the car as per usual. I just feel like that's my life. I basically live in this thing. Currently trying to reconnect my iPhone to my Bluetooth. I don't know, is it just me or does like, does anyone else have trouble with their phone like always connecting for whatever reason? Like my phone and this car always struggles, but like my sister was in here yesterday, obviously, as you guys know, and her phone connected just fine. Anyways, that's not the point of this video. Today, I have a pretty busy work day. I thought that I would vlog it for you guys. At the suite, I have Miranda, my best friend coming in. You guys know Miranda, I will link like our bachelorette party that we went to. It was for her wedding. She's coming in for a haircut, so I figured I would film that for you guys. From there, I'm literally leaving straight to go to my other job. So very busy day. I don't know how much of my other job I'll film, but Lauren did say that we could film like if we wanted to. So I feel like she'd be pretty game. Yeah, that's my day. Do you hear that? That's my car. What is going on? I tried to tell like the guy when I got my oil changed that my car was doing that. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I guess because I'm a girl, I just get looked at like I have eight heads and they just ignore me, but whatever. That's a problem for later. <laughs> hey vlog, look who we have here. Look Surprise. What she did. Look what she did to me, yes honey. We did yes. a little trimsy today, L little layer <laughs> action. Cleaned up the queen. <laughs> Cleaned up is right, that shit was ratchet. It was time, it was time. <laughs> And then we curled it. What, do, it. what are your thoughts? What, what do you rate it? The, the cut? Um, 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. We did it. Okay. Ooh. Hang on. Damn. Goddamn. The fucking parking lot at my work, at my suite, is literally jam-packed. It's definitely holiday season. I'm trying to get out of here, but people are not letting me. <laughs> um, just finished at the suite. As you guys saw, now I'm headed to my other job. But it was so good seeing my best friend. I don't know. I feel like I should just make more time for the people that I love. Like, I always feel like, oh my god, this is fucking insane. Oh my god, this is literally insane. I'm going. I think it's my sweet ass. Ew, this traffic. I hate Christmas. I hate Christmas. I'm trying so hard this year because of Vlogmas to be like, Okay, can the sun, oh, here's the other thing. The sun in the winter time just sucks. Everything sucks. I'm in a bad mood. I'm in a good mood because I saw Miranda, but I'm like in a weird mood otherwise. So what was I saying? Let me get back on track here. My two best friends, which I know I've explained before um, in Miranda's bachelorette video, but my two best friends, Sarah and Miranda, I've been best friends with for years. Miranda since preschool, Sarah since the sixth grade, and the three of us in total pretty much that have been like three peas in a pod ever since. And just the lives that they live are so different. Like all three of us have gone on like such a different path and it's like really interesting. Like we still are best friends, but we're low maintenance. Like we don't need to talk every day. Anyways, it's just interesting seeing the dynamic of us and like where we've grown up to be as people. And it's so refreshing to just like spend time with them and like talk to them about what's been up with their life. I can't remember if I explained this in a few videos past or not. I think I might have, but I'll just explain to you guys kind of what I do at my other job. Uh, so basically I will take clients sometimes there, but it just depends on the day. Otherwise, I'm kind of like a shampoo tech assistant. I just am an extra hand for Michael and Lauren. So today specifically, I did not have any clients and I was just doing like tech work. This job is pretty interesting to explain because my role changes a lot. I basically am doing the job of like seven different people in a salon, but our salon is like mom, pa type ordeal. So it's just the three of us and a few other techs that will come in and help here and there. So I really, I kind of do, I kind of do everything. I do desk work, tech work. I will clean dishes and organize. Since I do hair myself and I equally also have my own business, uh, it's pretty easy for me to just know exactly how a salon needs to be ran and operated. So in terms of this position, I fit right in and I also love that it is just a very small family-orientated salon. 
that's kind of always been my vibes anyway so it worked out well I like it here no problem um what about 3n plus yeah this is in the great coverage right yes yep I have those okay I'll take one of those yep I got that too two of those um 6n plus I have just one I'll take it perfect um 7n plus Perfect. What about 5CH plus? You can put up the tree tomorrow. Yeah. What? Anyone who's opposed, say aye. Aye. Where? You're opposed? No, 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 no. I to go to where? Put the tree. Tree. Oh, tree. <laughs> I thought you said ice cream. Tree. Yeah. I got us. I got us. It is the next day since I filmed all of those clips. I just felt like I didn't get really enough footage for yesterday. So um, I figured I figured I would add one today. However, today all I did was literally work. Well, I did go to the gym in the morning. That was great. But other than that, just work. I'm just like freaking exhausted. But I still want to add this in because once again, it's great documentation to really share with you all my ups and downs. These feelings that I have is like kind of why I say I don't like Christmas and like why I don't like this season because it just gets so busy for me sometimes that I just have like no serotonin, like zombie mode activated. I don't know, being real. Being real this vlogmas. You ever get in moods where your like senses are like like everything's irritating you? Like like literally like sounds or just like movements or just anything is just like bothering the shit out of you. That's me right now. I think I'm also about to get my period. That's probably why. That was like all a roundabout thing of like what I'm actually trying to explain. But I wanted to do like an evening time relax with me type thing for this portion of this vlog because I feel like I really need it. I want to do like a really nice like skincare routine tonight and just zen out. So what I'm going to do now since I just got home and I do not feel like making dinner like it's not going to happen. Hi Kia, I've been on my feet all day. I'm not fucking standing and making dinner. My sister left her noodles from when we went to Akira which that was in my previous vlog so go check that out if you guys haven't already. So I'm going to finish her leftovers Let's film with you guys like what i do after a long day at work you know i'm so grateful my clients i really am i love my clients i wouldn't change anything i wouldn't i wouldn't change anything but i really feel like you know six years doing hair i definitely go through like peaks and valleys of loving my profession and loving my career and hating it. Right now, I don't know if it's just because I'm like so overwhelmed with life and just like, like I feel like I have other things to do, you know, but like I have to work and it's like work's kind of getting in the way. I don't know, I think it's just me right now. I'm just in a bad mood. Pretty much every night after work, something that I routinely do is sit down and eat my food or dinner or whatever is prepared or whatever I feel like making um, and just vibe out on my phone, check Instagram and just kind of catch up and like debrief for the day. I just kind of like basically like to be mindless. I like to take my mind somewhere else for a minute and the phone is a great distraction for that. So I figured I would leave this in the video because this is like a huge thing. Like I literally do this and have been doing this for years. Yesterday I got some things in the mail and I want to share them with you guys because they're really cute. One was from a small business and one was like a Black Friday thing. I don't know why my lights are flickering. Why are they doing that? Hmm. Yeah, whatever. I don't, I just don't, I just. Don't have the energy to care. Sorry if you see lights flickering continuously throughout this clip. But anyways, first thing that I got, I'm so stoked for. I'm actually going to wear this to Okeechobee. Emily and I are planning on matching. You guys have probably seen this all over Instagram. Because Disco Kitty broke the internet while wearing it. But yeah, it's just this bodysuit by your freak girl. I'm so stoked to style this. In the next oncoming months after Christmas is over with and stuff, 
I'm gonna start buying accessories to really do this one up. This will probably be my favorite outfit for Oki. The next few things that I got, they were from Al's Kill, which I used to not support for various reasons. 2020 was a time, my guys. 2020 was a time. Do or don't shop at Dallas Kill. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can look up the history. I'm pretty sure there's a completely different owner nowadays anyway. Regardless, the first thing that I got was a pair of shoes, and I'm really excited about these. I have a pair, you guys have probably seen them in my Instagram photos, but I do have a pair of like tall boots but they're not platform I wanted like more like platform-esque I feel like the other ones I can solely only wear to like dirty festivals whereas this one I could wear to shows and stuff so anyways here they are so cute these are Lamada actually which I did not realize and they were marked down heavy probably like 70 70 I think total when they were to like over 100 I could be wrong on the price but yeah, so, so excited to wear these, and I'm going to Troy Boy with my boyfriend this weekend, so I probably will be wearing them then. Troy Boy we are definitely going to, because I have been saying that I'm going to all these different shows this month, and I've been canceling literally all of them, but Troy Boy we are definitely going to. The next thing that I got, since they were on sale, and I feel like I always need them, pasties, nipple pasties. See, so yeah, I just picked up some of these. I also have the holographic ones still. Um, and I want to get some more of the like gem ones and I think I'll be set for the year. Because I spent a certain amount, I got socks, so just rainbow socks, which is good because I actually was asking for socks for Christmas this year. Since braided stuff is so in right now, I saw this and I felt like it was kind of similar. It's not a braided bodysuit, but it kind of looks like it in a way. I guess it could be considered. Is it braided? No, this isn't. This is just like cut out. Anyway, same vibes as like a braided bodysuit, but it was only six bucks. And yeah, that's my little haul um, of things that I bought. And for festival season this year, I'm going to try again. Because this past year, I was like so in the middle of like so much different things that I just like didn't have time to prepare for anything. So I mostly wound up wearing Emily's outfits um, for each festival that I went to. Which actually was great because in terms of my favorite outfits ever, I would say Secret Dreams takes the lead. That was all Emily's, honestly. It's been a few hours since I last updated you guys because I have just been spending all that time editing this video. But it is currently now processing. Um, and then I'm hoping I can get it up by tonight. But I don't know, I'm getting pretty tired. My morning routines and my evening routines are like very very specific and they always have been in terms of like where I am like sometimes I'm at my parents sometimes I'm at Will's house like it does change I guess but as far as like what I do for skincare and like hair care and like everything else it pretty much always stays very consistent products might change obviously and like there were like the way that I wash my face and stuff but for the most part, this is pretty much what I've always done. So first thing I like to do, braid these extensions. Um, I braid them every night. Okay, so I like to double cleanse. And what I've been using as of lately is, don't hate me for it, just CeraVe um, because it's cheap. And since I do travel a lot, like I'm not always home. I Like I said, I could be at my parents or I could be at Will's or whatever. Um, since I am always traveling, it's just easier to have these smaller little things that I can just throw in the bag. Just start with the cleanser. It's like the very first thing when I'm like taking off my makeup. And I will do this twice. For the sake of the video and also because I just want to do it tonight. I don't do this every night. Um, but I'm using the Alpharet Exfoliating Peel Pad. This is um, something actually that my one of my clients gave me. She is... She works at a aesthetics office, I think, but like more of the medical medical side of it. My skin for the most part really actually likes exfoliating. I find that it like it just sets like the whole pH of my skin back to normal when I am consistent with peel pads and um, exfoliators and stuff. And because I'm using this, I'm actually gonna use a different moisturizer tonight. This is the stuff. I don't know if I mentioned this or not. I'm so tired. But this is a tri tri night moisturizer. It's just a little bit more heavier. And then I just brush my teeth. 
the last couple things that I like to do um, is take my prenatals. I've been taking them for about a month now. And then I also like to use my Rodan and Fields uh, Lash Boost. I used to use this back in the day because of all the things that I've been feeling this year about myself. I was like, well, why don't I go back to doing little changes like that um, to see if like that helps me with like feeling better about my self image and stuff. So I've been using this again and I do already notice a difference. But yeah, that's basically it. That's what I do for the rest of the night. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. This one was kind of like all over the place, I feel like, but um, yeah, that's, that's hair stylist during Christmas season. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of like very laid back, like self-care type content. Let me know if you guys are loving Vlogmas so far. I definitely am loving how this will be like wonderful time capsules to look back on. I got lots more planned for you guys because obviously Christmas is right around the corner and so is New Year's. I definitely will be continuing Vlogmas up until New Year's so you guys will see lots more and don't forget to follow me on Moon Delights if you haven't already. With that I am gonna go to sleep, get some good rest, and I will see you guys probably tomorrow. I think I am gonna vlog tomorrow too. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.